Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about data types in C. Now, in the C programming language, we're going to be dealing with a lot of data. So generally, when you're writing programs, you're going to be dealing with all sorts of information. And in this tutorial, I just want to talk to you guys about what types of information we can represent and use inside of our C program. And these are called data types, right? So what are the different types of data that we can work with in our program. So I'm going to show you guys all those different uh, data types right now. So a lot of times in C, when we're working with data, we're going to be storing that data inside of variables. So I'm just going to show you guys a bunch of different variables that we can create and all the different types of data that we can store inside of those variables. So remember, whenever we create a variable in C, we have to tell C a couple pieces of information. And the first piece of information we need to tell C is what type of data that we want to store inside of that container, inside of that variable. So let's talk about the different types of data. One of the most basic types of data and probably one of the types of data you're going to be using the most is going to be numbers. There's actually two very important types of numbers that we can represent in C. So the first type is called an integer and an integer is basically a whole number. So it's a counting number, right? If I was counting on my fingers, one, two, three, four, five, I'm just counting out whole numbers. And I'm not saying like one, one and a half, two, two point three. Like I'm counting in whole numbers and that's what an integer is. So to create an integer, we could just say int and we'll give this a name. So uh, we could say like age and we could set age equal to like 40 or something. Now, whenever we want to use an integer in C, we always just want to type out the number. So you'll notice I'm not putting quotation marks or parentheses or anything around this. I'm just typing out the number like that. And now we actually have our variable age. Another type of number we can create is a decimal number. So this would be a number unlike an integer. So it would be like 2.5 or 8.67 or 7.538, right? It's a number that has a decimal point associated to it. So there's actually two types of decimal numbers in C. There's something called a double and there's something called a float. And I'm not going to get too much into the difference between the two of them, but as a beginner to C, for the most part, you're just going to want to use a double. So I'm just going to type out double and this could be like someone's GPA, for example, it might be like a 3.7 or whatever. So, you know, you can use the double to represent decimal numbers. It's also important to note that I could also represent like the number three. So I could just say like 3.0 and that's going to be a decimal or I could say 40.0. So the difference between 40 and 40.0 is that 40.0 is a double, it's a decimal number, and 40 without the decimal point is an integer. So that's something just to keep in mind so you can make this like 3.6. So those are the two basic types of numbers, integers and doubles, and those are going to come in handy all the time. Now the next type of data that we're going to want to store is going to be characters. So in C, we can store single characters inside of a variable. So I could just say char and that stands for character and we could give this a value. So maybe it'd be like someone's grade. And when we create a character in C, we're basically going to specify the character that we want to store inside of single quotation marks. So inside of these single quotation marks, I could put a letter. I could put like A or lowercase a, we could put H, C, D, F. Basically, you can put any character that you want to store. So if I put an A here, now this character variable grade is going to store the single character A inside of it. And it's important to note that you can only store one character. So I couldn't put like a whole bunch of characters over here. That's actually going to throw an error. All we can do is store one single character. Um, but these three are the basic data types in C. So these are the basic types of information that we can deal with in our C programs. And just using these three data types, we can represent all sorts of information. I also want to talk to you guys about one sort of extra data type, and it's not technically a data type in C. It's technically like a modification of the character data type. So you'll notice when we create a character, we can only store one letter, one single character inside of it. But a lot of times we're going to want to represent more than one character. So we're going to want to represent like a string of characters. And generally this is called a string. So it's a collection of characters that are grouped together. And we can use this char data type in order to create a string. So I can basically say char, I can type out the name of the string that I want to create. So I could say like phrase. And then after this, I can make an open and closed square brackets. 
And this is basically going to tell C that we want to string a bunch of characters together. And what we're actually doing is creating something called an array. And I'm going to get into arrays later in the course. But just for now, know that we can create a string of characters by using char, specifying the name, these open and closed square brackets. And then we can create this using two open and closed quotation marks. So instead of these single quotes up here, we're just going to use double quotes and I could type in like a phrase. So I could type in whatever string of text I want here and this will get stored inside of this variable, which like I said, is technically called an array. Now it's important to note that doing something like this or so creating this like string of characters is a little bit different from these guys up here. So like these variables up here, we could modify them. We could give them new values, but you can't do stuff like that with this. So just know that this is like a special type of data and it's going to act a little bit differently than these ones up here. But that's sort of the basics of working with data. And those are all the basic data types that we're going to be using in our C programs. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.